Hey guys, it's Nate. Whoa. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking a look at some of the big upgrades for What If cards and a couple headliners that could be coming today. Talking about everything Wednesday related with new team of the week. And also take a look back at yesterday with the first of two Champions League games that happened on Tuesday. Look at how the market moved with those cards and about that very last SBC that we had yesterday as well with the St. Juice Day, right? We talked about it in yesterday's video that there was potential for it to be somebody else. Again, the leaks were correct and EA did not give this card the juice uh, that St. Juice Day wanted or that we all wanted in FIFA. So we'll talk about that a little bit. But first, I want to take a look at today, right? Today is Wednesday. We've got new team of the week and these upgrades coming. And that's what I'm going to talk about and focus on first thing because there's Big cards getting upgraded today with either what ifs or headliners. Now, one guaranteed upgrade we have today is this headline Lozano going to a headliners streak. So we'll go up to a plus one after Napoli got their fourth win in the league in a row. Now, for a lot of these cards we're going to talk about today, I'm probably going to recommend selling into the hype like we always do. Just because what happens is people think they're going to go up after their upgrade. But as we see for a lot of these cards, they've just continually risen with that upgrade being kind of locked in, people invest in them. And most of the time, especially for the what ifs, it's actually um, more beneficial to sell before they get that upgrade. So some of these cards aren't up that much though. Lozano was 611K of course, dropping down with like Renato coming out over the weekend and everything. He's only around 15 to 20,000 coins up. I expect this to maybe rise a little bit before content tomorrow, but this might be one of those ones where it's flying under the radar because there's a lot of League One hype right now with, you know, Diada. It's going to get upgraded with the Renato Sanchez, but potentially Ben Yedder in Team of the Week, the Awar card. So, you know, if this is a card that drops off, like, if some card gets an upgrade today and drops off, you know, back down to the spot where it was before that upgrade was kind of locked in. So, like, if this Lozano goes from, let's say he gets to 600K pre-content on Xbox, and let's say he goes to, like, 520 on PlayStation, let's say he drops back down to, like, 475, 480 on the Xbox and, like, 550 or 540 on the PlayStation, that, for me, would be a no-brainer buy for a potential flip later on as people realize, hey... Uh, this card got upgraded and now it's the same price. So unless there's a lot of, lot of investing on, on this card specifically, I don't think there is. But that's kind of the potential you could see with these upgrades today is after they get upgraded, you see a little bit of a sell-off. Then you can potentially buy and they go up. Especially if there's hype, they can rebound back. Especially with this Diata card because this card right here is going to break into some insane stack categories with a plus two, right? He's 250,000 coins at the moment. Now, this is one that I'm a little worried about because yes, the League One hype is real right now. We have a tall that is out in the same position. I'm gonna be mentioning that card here in a second, but also Renato Sanchez, again, as I mentioned, Awar and those links, Sambia, right, has gone up so much because of these links. This guy was 190K before Monaco got their goals on the weekend. This is going to an 87 rated today. He's gonna have 99 pace, 88 shooting, probably 82 passing, probably 90 dribbling and 80 physical. So this card is gonna break into the 99 pace category, 90 dribbling and 80 physical. He's gonna break into those new categories, which is gonna make this card look nuts, right? He's already very broken in game from what I hear. Uh, and this is gonna make him even more OP. So this begs the question, with a card with this amount of hype, where does this price go? This is the most interesting one to me that we have upgrading today because, yes, he is up a lot, right? He is up a lot, and he started rising on the weekend because, of course, they got those goals and the Renato coming out and stuff like that. But I think this card is very invested in, and I think there are a lot of people who will sell this. So in my opinion, the best thing to do with this card today is probably going to be sell it around the content drop or sell it sometime in the morning leading up to when that upgrade would happen. But then I think there's a huge potential on this card for a, for a drop off after that, the upgrade happens, he goes to 87 rated, which it again, we're not even sure when these are going to happen. EA is all over the place when they upgrade these what if cards. Sometimes they upgrade them like right away at the content drop. Sometimes they wait three hours. Sometimes it's not like seven hours later in the nighttime. So that could mess around with this price too. But if they update it right away at 6 p.m. like they should, uh, you probably would see this card drop down with people who, you know, bought this card for 190 or 200,000 coins taking their cash. You'd see those listers and then maybe an hour or two after that, you'd probably see him hit a low. But then I really think there could be a lot of hype for this card because he's cracked already. And if you look at other players that are right wings in this game, which is a rare position, 
You look at what happened today with Atal, who was extinct at 750. His price range went up. It doubled. He went all the way down to like 770, rebounded to over 800. And right now he's kind of chilling around the 800 mark. You know, yes, Atal has way higher defense and is a more well-rounded card than what this Diada is. But for somebody who, instead of using Atal on their team, if they want more of an attacking-minded player, they can rock this Diada card with those Renato Sanchez links, with Sambia, with Ben Yedder, and all that stuff. So... I think that this card might be viewed as undervalued at some point today. Um, after that upgrade happens, maybe you see a bit of a sell-off, and then I think it could spring upwards because if the content today is not that hype, people are probably going to want to go out and try this card, especially with him being able to insert into a lot of people's teams right now. So this is the most interesting one for me today. I think you might see a dip and then a rebound and a nice rebound at that on this Diada card for sure. Now, Lucas Lieva is getting upgraded today. This guy's up like 10,000 coins since the weekend. Uh, he's going to go to 80 pace. He's going to go to 89 defense and 89 physical, which will make this card look pretty good. So that has potential to maybe be a drop and then rise after the upgrade a little bit later on in the coming days as well. Falvin is an interesting one for me too, right? He's going to go to 89 pace, 89 passing, 92 dribbling, 88 shot, four star skills, three star weak foot. So Again, with the length that this card has, he's up about 20 or 30K right now. He's actually a little bit down right now. I'm going to be watching this card today too because this card potentially for me could look pretty cracked. People might want to try it out. So I'm kind of really watching, depending on what the content is today on Wednesday, a potential drop with the investors selling their cards, then a rebound later, especially after rewards if we don't have a lot of content coming today. Now also, Team of the Week will be coming today uh, with multiple headliners and predictions. Now, Goretzka is up, right? He's up from 500K-ish to 590. I don't know too much about Fabinho and Danny Ings, but this team of the week in general is not looking that good, um, you know, overall. Now, there's a lot of people that are buying up this Ben Yedder. This, this rise in price from 900K to the weekend all the way up to almost 1.1 right now on the, uh, on the PlayStation and 700K to almost 900K on the Xbox. I think this is due to him potentially getting an inform as well. And then also just with the League One links and that hype. So if this card drops back today, somewhere in the 900s on PlayStation, I'm going to get real interested because going forward in this weekend especially, I think this is a card that could be very sought after after rewards and stuff like that. So the team of the week today does not look that great. We'll see if EA throw anybody in. But for those live cards that are upgrading, which we have a lot of them today, especially if Goretzka get, gets in the team of the week or if Fabinho or even Danny Ings gets in, you're going to see more movements on those cards and there'll probably be some opportunities to trade with them now saying that since the foot birthday sbcs are over and we'll take a look at saint juice day here in a second what am i expecting today for content well since we have had so many sbc players in a row 12 straight days of an sbc player being released i'm really curious to see what ea does today i'm really curious to see if they drop some sort of like you know another player sbc that'd be like a player moments or a flashback or if they're going to let it chill and kind of drop like more of a non-tent day. I really feel like today could be a quiet day, but then again, you never know with EA Sports. You never know what could happen today. Uh, since we have all these player SBCs that are out, maybe they're gonna see it as, all right, these guys have a lot of SBCs they can work on right now. A lot of people are still asking about icon upgrades, which we have not gotten those yet. Um, we might get an another one of these daily challenges for the Champions League, and we should be getting supply today with UEFA marquee matchups. That should be coming out today as well. Um, so that'll be some tradable packs for this market that people will be opening up, of course, with Foot Birthday Team 2 still in packs. So um, that's kind of what I'm expecting for content today. UEFA marquee matchups is kind of like a known one. That's going to be our only, like, I guess you could say, guaranteed portion of what could be coming out today on Wednesday for that content but speaking of what happened yesterday um you know the saint juice day sbc coming in here on Fopin, and let's just talk about this right this does not have the hype that we really thought it was going to have there was a lot of people selling their bundesliga center backs because they thought that the saint juice day card today was going to have 90 plus pace it was going to be super op and a lot of these sbcs have been affordable but then this one comes in at 390,000 coins with 6300 down votes and i think the biggest issue we have here with this one is uh, the, the, the stat boost, right? We really, really, really wanted to see more than just plus three pace. If they would have given him plus five pace, I think more people would have been interested in this SBC purely because of that 90 paced center back hard, which this is one of the fastest center backs in the game. If you don't play a right back or left back off cam in that center back role, which is the meta this year, 
this is one like it's like it's like a top five or top six um center back in terms of pace like kyle walker beats him out like maldini opara uh, moments maldini i think it is like he's fast right this guy is mad fast for being a true center back so but since with the meta is the way it is i think a lot of people are going to bypass this and just go ahead and play their right backs and left backs off chemistry as they have been doing for a while now so these foot birthday two cards as well i want to talk about this going into today because what we saw last week with Foot Birthday Team 1, I think, could be replicated with Team 2. Now, of course, people are not going to really save their packs. They're going to open all their stuff on Thursday. We have rewards coming late tonight, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, for a lot of you guys that will watch this video, depending on where you live. So, what we saw with Foot Birthday Team 1 is a lot of panic selling um, later in that afternoon. And if you have any of these Foot Birthday cards right now, with UEFA Marquee matchups coming out, I would, if there's the up right now, if any of these cards you have are up, like this AWR is almost back to a mil, I would seriously look to take the cash. Because this guy has been down towards 900k, but with UEFA Marquee matchups coming out today, um, which will be bringing tradable supply to the market. If any of these cards are high or you have any of them in your team, I think these cards drop today and then get sold off more into that you know rewards time period uh, and then potentially get more supply to rewards and go down a little bit more, but then they bounce back up very nicely post rewards. I do think that's going to happen. So just watch the supply on these today. And I wanted to give you that warning of the marquee matchups because I do think that's going to supply the market. A decent amount now this last team of the week i picked up some kimmiches today at 380 because that card to me is so rare that's going to be a card that goes up out of packs this davies as well low 60s if you can on the playstation i think that's a decent buy you know just kind of buying one or two right because i think this team of the week you know it's sort of rare it did go through lightning rounds uh but you look at the kimmich car with the buying links that are going on right now you know people still using royce ozil and stuff like that if goretzka it's a team of the week today that could be the only thing that maybe hurts kimmich um but maybe it helps them too with, you know, strong links. People wanted to use those two in their teams. Now, to kind of close things off here, I want to talk about road to the final stuff because just like we see a lot of times with these RTTFs, you see tons and tons of fluctuations. Now, I was not on stream today. I was feeling a bit under the weather, feeling better now. I should be live tomorrow or today on Wednesday. Um, that's the plan. Uh, if you guys are in tuned on Twitter, that's kind of the plan. But, um, this Varane today was sold off because he tested uh, positive for COVID pre-game or a couple hours before the game, so he wasn't going to play. He was down from 1.68 mil all the way down into the 1.4s, as you can see here, this one that went on bid. And now he, of course, is up to 1.7 because Real Madrid won and things are good, right? Obviously, cards like this Salah, who was 1.7, 1.8 mil earlier today, he's dropped off a lot, right? He's 1.41 right now. And a lot of these cards, the panic selling just gets too low at one point and they bounce back. So I'm seriously watching this Salah right now, 1415. I mean, if I'm seeing this at 1399, maybe 14, I'm getting very interested because these cards are still very desirable. And I feel like 1.3, 1.4 mil for that Salah is very cheap. But the same thing happens with the cards that won, right? This hazard was back up to 1.12, I believe. If I see this like 1.02 or 1.03, like I know that I'm going to be able to get a fluctuation um, and he's going to get rare again as people are seeing that Real Madrid have that 3-1 lead on Liverpool and he's going to continue to go back up after that post-game hype. So just kind of watch the road to the finals today uh, with guys like Alaba, of course, with... Um, Bayern playing with PSG playing today, Porto and Chelsea, obviously not a lot going on there with the live cards on the market because I think all the cards, Porto has a live Felipe Anderson and Mason Mount, those were both SBCs or objectives. So Bayern Munich and PSG are the only game today that had tradable cards in the market. But since these RTTFs are so rare um, on this game, they're very, they fluctuate a ton, right? They fluctuate a ton. As you can see, there's one hazard at 1.12. There's a couple of them. There's this one at 1.075, which is like a, is that like a 40k under 50k undercut uh and it's not selling it's been out for 28 minutes so there's big time fluctuations on these cards all i'm saying and there's potential to make coins with them after they get sold off uh post game whether they won or whether they lost now again we're not going to get upgrades on those cards until next saturday most likely the 17th of april but that is the situation with those and i think you'll see more market movements with those today on Wednesday. So that's kind of the video with what's going on right now. It's, it seems like a bit of a quiet day, right? It seemed yesterday like a quiet day on FIFA with the St. Juice Day being a bit overpriced. And now we have no SBC foot birthday wise to look forward to. So maybe EA is thinking about dropping that icon content today if they really wanted to. 
we will have to wait and see what happens with that. But there's still going to be a lot going on with the What If card upgrades, the headliner upgrades, and the new team of the week, of course, and that UCL marquee matchups tradable pack supply will be coming out too. So if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.